Downtown Kyiv has been turned into a massive open-air museum. The government of Ukraine set up a display of Russian assets, captured tanks, crippled military trucks, and broken artillery pieces through Kyiv's city center on Saturday. This is kind of a mock parade ahead of Ukrainian Independence Day. Ukraine's Ministry of Defense tweeted along with a video showing scores of disabled vehicles. In February, Russians were planning a parade in downtown Kyiv. Six months into the large-scale war, the shameful display of rusty Russian metal is a reminder to all dictators how their plans may be ruined by a free and courageous nation. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how Ukraine has managed to embarrass Russia with a parade in Kyiv. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal by going to nordvpn.com slash defense or clicking the link in the description. Use the code DEFENSE at the checkout to get an extra month free for the two-year plan. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. The video, along with others posted to social media Saturday, showed Ukrainians atop the seized Russian assets and snapping selfies. Cyclist Evgen Vorobiev narrated his trip along Kroshatik, Kyiv's main street, lined with official buildings and high-end shops as he passed the burned-out equipment. It's really fun to watch, he said. Russians wanted to get to the center of Kyiv with these loads of military vehicles, and they sort of have managed to, but probably not in the condition that they had expected. Russians finally have their military parade in downtown Kyiv, journalist Alexei Sorokin posted. Yet there's a catch. Ukraine's defense minister stated in a treat, The delusional Russians arrogantly invaded Ukraine. I saw for myself the ceremonial uniforms in their tanks. The aggressors dreamt of capturing Kyiv in three days. The occupiers intended to hold a parade in our capital. Okay, they're here, tons of scrap metal. Buy nicotine patches, occupants. While Russia has captured a significant amount of territory, the conflict is taking a toll. As per Oryx, a project that records independently verifiable losses throughout the conflict, Russian losses include 970 tanks, 514 armored fighting vehicles, 1,035 infantry fighting vehicles, 142 armored personnel carriers, 68 surface-to-air missile systems, 51 aircraft, around 50 helicopters, and more than 100 UAV. Russia has not only lost a massive amount of equipment, but also men. The U.S. believes 75,000 Russian soldiers have been killed or injured in Ukraine, with over 80% of Putin's land forces bogged down and tired. Several leaders, including generals, have been killed too. It's no secret that Russia went for a quick strike on Kyiv and would have wanted a swift takeover. But this has not happened, and the conflict is dragging on with no end in sight. Russian trouble started when they totally misread the situation on two counts. First, they underestimated the strength of Ukraine's armed forces, which has made significant progress in terms of training and equipment with the help of the West since the capture of Crimea in 2014. Secondly, the Russian intelligence community failed to gauge the willingness of civilians to resist the Russian forces. The fact is that Ukrainians from all walks of life have been supporting their country's soldiers in whatever way possible. Ukrainian officials are using this parade to needle Kremlin and also showcase to the West that their support to Ukraine is not going in vain. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.